Hello everyone, I'm D with D Sanders Photography. Thank you for stopping by. Many of you have asked, how did I become a real estate photographer? Of course, this is my first time putting myself on screen because I really did not want to do this. Uh, I am a person who likes to be behind the camera, not in front of it. So therefore, that's why you see me now today in front of the camera because somebody has to put a face to the work, a face to the name, other than the picture that you all see on the YouTube channel. So this is me on Sanders Photography. I got started doing real estate photography about 10 years ago. I was known to do portraits and weddings and events. That was my thing. But my wife became a real estate agent about 10 years ago and she asked me to start shooting the houses. I had not done any real estate photography prior to that. So now let's talk about how I grew my real estate photography business. These are the steps that I took. Initially, when I first talked to you, I told you that I only had one company that I was shooting, and that was the company that my wife worked for. So I had to grow it beyond that. First thing I did was I created a slideshow. And no, I did not charge them for the slideshow. So the slideshow was actually something they could use and put on their social media page. And then at the end, they wanted to know, of course, who did this work? That was me, of course. So I had my contact information at the end of the slideshow. And again, I did not charge them extra for that slideshow. Now, of course, now uh, some, some realtors who have been with me from the beginning, I still do not charge them. But new realtors, I do charge them for. Second thing I did was I got some flyers created. All right, those flyers advertise the three things the realtors want to know. How soon can I get my photos back? What area are you servicing? And how much do you charge? These were the flyers. So now let's talk about finding your customers. Your customers are right there in front of you on the MLS system, Zillow, all the multiple listing services that you see on the internet. Find those realtors who need photographers. You'll know if they need a photographer by looking at their listings. Direct market to them, either by phone, email or text just send them their contact information everything you need is right there in front of you it's right there on the mls next thing i did was i offered my realtors a 25 dollars referral fee on their real estate shoots this encouraged them to refer more realtors to me because they were getting that next shoot at a discounted rate be flexible show the homeowner some grace just in case you get there late you want to be shown some too so if you get to a house and the homeowner is still wiping the counters down, getting the grass cut, or doing some last minute touch-ups for the photos, don't tell the realtor I'm gonna charge you extra for that because she wasn't ready when I got there. If you had to wait an extra 45 minutes, hey, suck that up. Let her know that it happened. That way she'll know next time when she talks to another homeowner, he's gonna be there at two o'clock shop, three o'clock shop, whatever time may be, so they'll be more prepared. However, it's important that you be flexible and show your client some grace. Realtors like it when you can be that journey on the spot. For instance, if a realtor calls you and it's two o'clock and she asks you, can you be at that house at four o'clock? You want to be able to say yes. And the reason is that because that moves you up on that realtor's priority list because you have made her a priority. You have pushed aside something else that may have been important to you and you've taken care of her. So she wants you to be able to do that. If you're able to do that, you'll move to the top of her priority list, her or his priority list because you can get things done. Another thing I would suggest is be able to shoot pre-sunset. This works to your advantage in many different ways. When you shoot pre-sunset, realtors don't have to ask the homeowner to take off work in order to meet you at the house. That way you don't have that harsh sunlight coming through the windows. That's another reason why you want to shoot pre-sunset. Thank you for stopping by D-Sanders Photography. If you learned anything from this video, Please like and subscribe, there will be more to come.